how sore you are, Randy. Jesus. Man, it's, it's one of those things. Yeah, one of those things I don't need to know. Well, you've had hemorrhoids, haven't you? Jesus Christ. Hemorrhoids are like one of those things. They need smaller applicators on the H. What the fuck are you doing? What is he talking about? These are tasty. He's got hemorrhoids and he put the applicator in too far or something. Yeah. Stuff I don't need to know. Hemorrhoids are serious because they're they're internal. You think they're they're like little grapes inside your bum bum. But they're they can they'll they'll bleed on you. And it's just not sanitary. Why am I hearing about this? I don't care. It's about your bloody grapey hole. The number one anal problem with men is hemorrhoids. Great! Fantastic. I'm glad I know that now. Stop talking about it. That's why it's better to dab instead of wipe. Because a dab is... It's better not to fucking use toilet paper. Isn't that what causes them? I think you're supposed to use a bidet. What is it? Bidet, mate. (laughs) What? (laughs) The hat that you wear? No. It's like fucking hosing off your ass instead of wiping it with paper. Oh. The thing that shoots water up into your arse. Warm, beautiful water. Well, some bidets are just right out of the cold valve, and you got no control uh, over it. I don't know if I'd like that. I've never tried one of those things. I'm shocked by that. You had every fucking contraption known to man in there at some point. No. <laughs> is okay, you know what stomach? I think? Are we all mm. fucked? The, the things are on here, boys. It's April the 15th. Good Friday. So the whole first part of this, we're talking about your haul on the show. That's great. It's just, well, it's not no different than a commercial for something. It's April what? The 15th, Good Friday, baby. Is it? I don't what? know why they call it Good, good Friday. Some people call it Great Friday. Fridays are always good, though, aren't they? Because then it's Saturday, the weekend. It's yeah, a Jesus good. thing. They mean Good Friday, Jesus called it. It wasn't that. a very good day for him, really. <laughs> No. But they call it that because he res- resurrected the resurrect rector. What did he do? Resurrected. He was in a cave or something, I think. And then, and then and he was. And then he, mm. yeah, <laughs> something like that. There was a big rock that got pushed in in front of it, and then they pushed the rock, and they found out that he wasn't there. We should, we should have you tell Bible stories to the kids because you're so knowledgeable. I only know a couple Bible stories. So there's this one story where this one guy, he had to kill his son or something. Yeah. Yeah, that's fucked up. What was his name, Samson? Achilles? No, Achilles had the big heels, great big heels on him. I think his name was... David and Goliath? No, he's, no, they he's, weren't. That wasn't father and son. They were mortal enemies. Goliath was a giant. David was a little fella. I think it was wasn't Zeus. No, no, no Zeus was a different god. It was Paul. All Paul. together, him and Jesus were were one of the disciples. Paul or something. Peter. Peter. Yeah, Paul. No, Cain and Abel. You're thinking of, aren't you? Oh yeah, I think you're right. Wasn't he the karate guy, Cain? Eye for an eye. I thought he was. Bible's got interesting stories, though. Which karate guy was in the Bible? (laughs) Cain, I think. No, man, that's the fucking Mortal Kombat you're thinking of. Oh, yeah. That's right. (laughs) Nothing to do with the Bible. No, I don't think there's any karate guys in the Bible that I can think of. There's a couple boxers. I think karate was invented probably longer before all that started, didn't it? It's pre-Bible. Ninjas. That's one thing I don't understand, Bubs, is all the the AD and the ACDC. The timeline. I know ACDC because they they rock and roll. After <laughs> death, isn't it? Or Adon to Bapu ni D. But but they talking like I don't understand it. it it's like he's talking in Italian again. <laughs> When he gets high enough, he turns Italian. I like Italian food. So, Mo asked me a question, 
You know, I don't know the answer to it, so I'm going to get your opinion. Okay. If a dog's going to wear pants, yeah. which way would he wear them? It's mm, a good question. Is a dog a dog? What kind of dog? I don't think the let's breed matters. Go with a fucking German Shepherd. I, I don't know. A fucking poodle. Who cares? They all got four legs. Well, they. Ger I know what German dogs would wear. Leader who's in the leaders. Those ones with the little straps on them. The well, I they think they would wear them like this. Oh, no, they legs. wouldn't stay on them. No, but that's how they would wear them. They might have suspenders to keep them on, but this would insinuate that the dog's upper body are his arms. Right. But he doesn't walk upright. But you got to cover his bird. Right. Yeah, so, I mean, his bird's covered either way. Yeah. This way, is his, his, his ass is covered as well, which might be good. I mean, you still see the shit pipe. If they wore them like this, I guess. Which one? Those should look like yoga pants, maybe. If they dogs wore. No, yoga. Ricky, just wait. Ricky's got a very good point. With these ones, the ones I went with, his his hole is still clearly visible. Oh. And if you're gonna wear pants, one of the things I think you want to conceal with your pants is your butthole. But now the problem with this pair, how's he gonna take them down to shit and piss? That's a... It's a fucking tough one. <laughs> it's a lot of factors. It, it, Can a dog put on and take off his own pants? I no. They, he cannot. He does not have opposable thumbs. But you could probably train him to, especially if there's an elastic. If you had a friend, and his friend could use the teeth to pull him down. I don't know. Dogs and pants may not be a good dog. Yeah, but idea. then you're going to think they're sex dogs. I've seen dogs with, like, shoes... Boots, shoes. Yes, some dogs wear shoes. I have boots for my cats. I didn't know that. For the winter, yes, you can put cats on boots on cats, little rubber boots. That's a good question that Mo had, though. I think. Oh, speaking of cats, I had someone go to cat. Oh yeah, look at this. There was a study done at a fucking university in Finland. If you own a cat, it means you're more attractive. Wow. Healthier, and you have more sex. 100%. 100% valid. Apparently, there's some single cell parasite called a Texoplasma gondii. Gond e -E, and it uh, makes you uh, more attractive. I more better. symmetrical facial features, you weigh 10% less, and more testosterone. If you, yes, I believe all of that. Can I borrow one of your kitties? No. No, I could use one. I need some of that stuff, I think. You just get it out of the litter box. Or don't cook your meat all the way through, and you can get it that way, too. I heard that if you suntan your scrotum, it's good for testosterone. No, vitamin D, I think. Well, that's that's the sun. You don't want to suntan your scrotum. Well, you don't only for, like, five minutes, because you don't want to get a, a bag burn. Randy, if I see you laying out in your yard with your fucking, like a frozen turkey with your legs up in the air trying to get your screws and I, flapping in the wind. No, I would have it so that you couldn't see it. I'd put one of those shields Sunshade. around so that you would just see. So, I would, I, it wouldn't be, it'd be decent. If you sat on a mirror, you probably could just tan it sitting upright. You could probably, you could probably sit right in front of your window. Yeah. Mirror tan. Stick your fucking whole package out the window. But I could use a kitty, though, because if I do need to lose five pounds or so. So five? Is that your goal? 